and done. So probably we prepared the scheme of types of software testing. So let's discuss it. First of all, we can divide our testing on two different areas. First area, it is the case when you use manual testers to check how your program works. In this case, you use manual testing. In case if you want to automate uh, manual test cases and replace any manual activities by scripts, in this case, you use automation testing. But good news, you can also combine these two approaches and use in your Scrum teams. Another level how we can uh, define our testing types in case what we do with the system. For instance, if the system is not launched or is not developed yet, but we already have some requirements, you can perform static testing. It means the case when the system is not launched and you work with other part of the application. For instance, you can analyze the code, you can check the quality of different functions, so you can try to improve some algorithm, but at the same time the system is not launched in the moment when you do this work. Dynamic testing it means scenario when you run the system and you test it itself. Also, we can divide testing on the approach when you have or when you do not have access to the code. We have white box testing, it means when you have the full access to the code. Black box testing is very popular, it means scenario when you as QA engineer doesn't have access to the code, but you have requirements or you have instruction or you have some documents what describe how the system should behave. Gray box testing, it is combination of white box and black box testing. It means you can create test cases depends on requirements, but if you have access to the code, you can also create some additional test cases to check your application. Next level of testing, it's functional testing. Here we check how application or software uh, follows two requirements. And here we can start from unit test cases. When you develop any application or any software, you create some function, you create some uh, libraries and so on. And the first basic level of testing it is unit testing. This case of testing could be applied only in the case when you have access to the code. So it could work only in case if you have white box approach. Next one level is the case when you combine two, three or more functions together and you see how they work to each other. In this case it's called integration testing. Next one scenario is the case when you check the system itself, what it could be launched, what it uh, how to say provide some information to you depends on requirements and it means system testing. Also depends on the number of test cases and depends on the coverage we can execute smoke testing or regression testing about these types uh, I will provide more information later in next videos. Next one level is uh, user acceptance testing. Here we validate what the system or the application or the software it follows to requirements to acceptance criteria. And end-to-end -end testing it means scenario when we test behavior of the application uh, in case if regular user uses it in their daily basis. Here we try to reproduce uh, user scenarios. Interesting stuff. If you combine these four types together and if we add such rectangle here right uh, one moment, let's put it in this way 
and move to background okay so if we add rectangle here we will get testing pyramid it means the best approach how you should organize your tests in any project and you should create as many as possible scenarios for unit testing next one level second one it should contain less uh, scenarios when you combine your models or when you combine your functions together also third one level and it should contain uh, less number of test cases if we compare it with integration testing it means system testing and the top level of the pyramid it should be end-to-end -end testing or user acceptance testing it should contain less number of scenarios anyway uh, another type of the testing it means non-functional testing when we check how the system works but this work is not related to acceptance criteria or to requirements here we can check what for instance all access to any information is closed and you can't get this information without notification it means security testing also you can measure how soon your system uh, returns feedback to the user for instance if you work with web browser here we can measure the time what we spend to open any web page and it meets performance testing also it could be divided to load testing stress testing scalability testing and stability testing next one type of non-functional testing it's compatibility testing here we check how our application software or system works with different operating systems with different uh, versions of web browsers and so on ui testing or user uh, usability testing here we check what all buttons are displayed correctly what all text is shown it's not cut and so on so here we validate the user interface and last one level it's accessibility testing it means scenario when we check how our application or software works in case if people have some restrictions and probably for today that's it as usual i will share this scheme uh, in the video description please guys feel free to write your comments subscribe to the channel like this video and see you later have a nice week guys bye